Hello pilots, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and today we're introducing the Admiral RX 600 Stability Plus Gyro Series. So what you're going to get in this series is uh, eight total videos including this one that is going to go over each little part of uh, properly setting up and using your Admiral RX Stability Plus Gyro. So taking a quick look at the gyro itself when you get it out of the box basically they're going to give you the, the receiver and the gyro they're going to give you one bind plug and then they also give you a piece of double sided tape for you to mount it in your aircraft but looking at the uh, gyro itself let's go around the front of it so when uh so let's start on this side you have all your ports so basically you have your bind port your throttle aileron elevator rudder gear and you have auxiliary one and then the beauty of this which we call it a six channel uh receiver after you're done binding when you pull the bind plug out that port the bind port can also serve as an auxiliary too so you do get a seventh channel uh if you need it so let's say you had a bombay door or some uh, an air brake on like the F-15, um, you could put that in there or maybe some lights. Moving over to the dip switches, we're going to do a video talking about all the dip switches. These are what are, you're going to use to not only reverse the correction of your channel if, one, if the gyro is correcting on one of your control surfaces the wrong way, but also the top dip switches will refer to the type of plane that you're trying to set this up on. And if you go to the back, you can see that they give you the directions and we do all this in a in a future video here. So you have normal plane, delta, v-tail, flapper on, or you could just shut the entire gyro off and use it as a regular receiver if you don't need the gyro. Then you have your potentiometers on top. You have individual aileron, rudder, and elevator. So that's how you set your gains using a little screwdriver like I got. Then you have your mode button. So when the uh, the Stability Plus Gyro offers three different combinations, each one has two functions. So combo A is going to be gyro on all the time with the ability to have a recovery mode, which we'll show you how to set up. Combo B is gyro off all the time with the recovery mode as an option. So if you just want the recovery mode for help, but you don't want to fly with the gyro, that's fine. Then combo C is going to give you the ability to turn the gyro on or off during flight. So if you're going out there on an, it's not windy during the morning and then it starts getting windy in the afternoon, you can flip your gyro on and help you out uh, up to you. But those are the three combos that are offered. And when you're mounting this gyro, always be sure that the ports are facing back of the plane and all the lettering and wording is the front. So that's the front of the gyro. It always needs to be mounted in this direction. It cannot be mounted sideways, backwards, upside down. It has one way to mount. And then also make sure your antennas are 90 degrees whenever you install it. So put one that way, one that way, or one up, something like that. But uh, we'll go over all that in future videos. But that'll do it for this overview, guys, on the Admiral RX Gyro. Now go check out the next couple of videos, get yourself set up, and we'll see you next time.